All right, to use the quadratic formula, you first have to have it memorized. So if you still are stubborn and not memorizing that song, I would do it sooner rather than later. Uh, it is not going to be on your quiz, uh, but it is perfectly legal to go ahead and write it up in the corner as soon as you get your quiz, just so you've got it handy. So x equals opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, to use the quadratic formula to solve a problem, you first have to make sure that the problem, the equation, has an x squared in it. That's what tells you it's quadratic and that you can use this formula. And then you also have to make sure that it's equal to zero. Now, the problems in your quiz are all going to look like that, so it's a formality, but please understand that it's only these types of problems that this works for. After you've done that, you want to identify What's your A, what's your B, and what is your C? Those are the three letters that we need to know to use the quadratic formula. So, A is always the number in front of the x squared. So in front of our x squared is blank. We know that that invisible number is 1. So we can say that A equals 1. B is always the number in front of the plain old x. So in this case, it's negative 3. So when we set B equal to negative 3. And c is always the number with no x, negative 7 in this problem. So c is equal to negative 7. Now, before we plug those numbers in, I like to rewrite the formula with all blank, in blank parentheses where the a's, b's, and c's were. So I'm going to rewrite x equals opposite blank plus or minus the square root of blank squared minus 4 blank blank all over 2 blank. And now is where I bring these pieces together. So in my blanks, I'm going to write the correct number based on whether there was an A, B, or C for that blank. So the first blank was a B. So I'm going to write my negative 3 in where the B was. This blank was also a b, so I'm also going to write a negative 3. After the 4, this blank was for an a, so I'm going to write 1 because a is equal to 1. The last blank on top was for c, which is negative 7, so I'm going to write negative 7 in the last blank. And the blank on the bottom was for a, which is 1. And now is where you need to have a calculator. You don't need a graphing calculator for this problem. We're going to do it in pieces that any calculator would be able to handle. And what I'm going to plug into the calculator the first time is only what I'm going to circle here in red. So I'm going to plug in everything that is inside my square root, but I am not going to plug in the square root itself. Let me show you what this looks like clear this calculator. So again, I'm going to start with my negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 7. So negative 3 parenthesis squared minus 4 parenthesis 1, close it, parenthesis negative 7, close it. That is what I type into the calculator. I press enter and I get 37. All right. So I know that all that stuff I have circled in red is equal to 37 because my calculator told me so. So now I'm going to rewrite what I have. I have x equals the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. I rewrite my plus or minus. I have to rewrite my square root because remember I didn't type it in the calculator so it's still there. But I can write it a little bit shorter because I know that all this stuff is the same as 37. So all I have to write for all that now is 37. And all that is over 2 times 1 which is just 2. And now this is when I want to split it up with my plus in one equation and my minus in the other. So I'm going to split this into the two different pieces now. So one of these says x equals 3 plus the square root of 37 divided by 2. 
and the next one says x equals 3 minus the square root of 37 divided by 2. I'm going to need the calculator again, but what I want you to be careful of is I want you to type it in, type in the entire top, stop, press enter, and then type in divided by 2. So what that's going to look like is it's going to look like 3 plus the square root of 37, and then you press enter, and then you press divided by 2. Enter, and 4.5 is one of your two answers for this problem. So x equals 4.54 is one answer. Now to get your other answer again, you type in 3 minus the square root of 37, press enter, and then type in divided by 2. So we have 3 minus the square root of 37, enter, divide that by 2, enter, and the other answer is negative 1.54. x equals negative 1.54. And those are your two answers for this problem. Now all these problems are pretty much the same. But if you would like to look at one more example, I have one for you here. Again, I'm going to start this one by writing my um, formula, my quadratic formula with blanks. x equals opposite blank plus or minus the square root of blank squared minus 4 blank blank. Never draw that long enough. All over 2 blank. This time, when I'm looking for my A and my B and my C, I notice that A is actually something different than 1 this time. In front of x squared, I have a 3, so that's my A. B is in front of x. It's invisible, but it's there. It's a 1, so B is 1, positive 1. C is a negative number this time, so be careful to remember that C is a negative 3. I put those numbers in the right places, so these two blanks are Bs. Uh, this blank is an A, this blank is a C, and this blank is an A. <coughs> All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do things in a slightly different order this time. X equals the opposite of positive 1 is negative 1, plus or minus the square root. I haven't put that in the calculator yet, so I'm going to leave that blank for now. All over 2 times 3 is 6, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and take this bit that was inside my square root and I'm going to put that in the calculator. So this time we're doing 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 3. So we have 1 in parentheses that's being squared minus 4 parentheses 3 parentheses negative 3. Let's see if it got everything there. Close that parenthesis. Enter. So it looks like, oh, this time again, I happen to have 37. Doesn't know, it's not always 37. It's just coincidental. So again, I'm going to put a 37 in here. And now it's the same thing we did last time. We split up both of these. We have x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 37 divided by 6 and x equals negative 1 minus the square root of 37 divided by 6. So to figure this out, I type in the top, press enter, and then divide that by 6. So negative 1 plus the square root of 37, enter, then divide by 6. So it looks like 0 0.847, so I'm going to round that to 0 0.8. 5 is my answer. I'm going to do the same thing, but negative 1 minus the square root of 37. Negative 1 minus the square root of 37. Enter, 
then divide by 6. Enter. Negative 1.18 is the answer there. x equals negative 1.18. And there you have two problems solved using the quadratic formula.